Blender 4.0 saw various updates to the key maps. Navigating and searching menus is much faster across Blender. Some features are much better supported across all sculpting, painting, and grease pencil modes. The industry compatible key map also saw many improvements to bring it up to speed with the default key maps. In this video, I'll give a brief summary of some of the most important default key map changes to know. For more info, a full and detailed list of all updates can be found on the release notes page. So let's get started. There are a lot of lengthy and deeply nested menus in Blender. Navigating and searching through them can be time consuming. There was always the shortcut F3 or spacebar to search through all menus. But now, spacebar can also be pressed in any open menu to search its contents. Also, before typing, it will show you the most recently used operators first, which makes it super fast to access all your favorite menu entries. The add menus for adding objects, nodes, and modifiers are even faster than this. For example, when pressing Shift A in the modifier list, you can type anything to search immediately. Spacebar can still be pressed if you like to get the most recently used results first as well. The other menus are different because the leader keys, the little underline for letters, are still a common feature to access menu items with shortcuts. To make another new feature, the snap base point, more intuitive, you can now navigate while transforming elements. By default, this is using the usual navigation shortcuts in combination with holding Alt. There's also a preference to instead just use the default navigation shortcuts. Now onto various improvements that are specific for modes that use brushes. In weight paint and vertex paint mode, it's now possible to hold Control to invert the brush effect and hold Shift to apply a blur effect. This makes all modes that use brushes feel more consistent. Any mode that uses selection or masking modes now support the one, two, and three keys to switch between them, just like in edit mode. Key combinations with X are now used for colors and weights. This is convenient since modes that use brushes never use this key for deletion. Sculpt mode specifically got a few updates too. H and Shift H are now flipped. This makes hiding more consistent with all the other modes in Blender. Alt W is now used for the face set pie menu to avoid some conflicting shortcuts. Previously, it was on W. Left click select users, feel free to bind it to W again if that's preferred. Or even use the key for the draw face sets brush instead. Pretty handy. Alt 1 and Alt 2 can now be used to lower and raise the multi res level, a lot more accessible than before. Control R can now be used to flood fill the mesh resolution when dynamic topology is used similar to the same shortcut for voxel remeshing. And for people who would like to use the transform tools more often, you can now use shift right click to set the pivot point on any surface anytime, similar to moving the 3D cursor. You'll also find some brush shortcuts in sculpt mode to be a bit different. The smooth brush shortcut is finally back on S, making sure that shift S is exclusively used for the stabilized stroke setting. Some other brushes also saw some improvements, V is now used for the draw brush instead of X. C is for the much more used clay strips brush instead of the clay brush. And Shift T for the much commonly used scrape brush instead of the flatten brush. Selection is now also easier while in modes that use brushes. To make sure that it's always possible to select individual faces or vertices, use Alt left click to select and Shift Alt left click to add or remove from your selection if you would like to use the usual shortcuts from edit mode or the full range of selection shortcuts, switch to the selection tool in the toolbar or with W. This is especially useful for the new face loop selection on alt left click, or if you're using middle mouse button emulation. In the case of weight paint mode, shift control left click for bone selection is always available. Right click select already works very well out of the box, but even here, a couple of improvements are noticeable. Shift control left click is now used for lasso masking and deselection consistently across all modes. And since control left click is already taken by brushes, lasso unmasking and lasso selection is now accessible via shift control alt left click. A lengthy shortcut, but nice to have finally included. I hope this was helpful to you. Feel free to add your own opinion and feedback in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching.